We've all heard the saying, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is, but do we heed it? Yeah, not so much. I almost got scammed out of two grand. I sell Sensi and... I believe I tried to tell you. Get out. I sell Sensi and I have a website where my phone number is, so if anybody wants to order, they can just contact me. Now, I was contacted by a woman named Emily, who said she was from Florida. She was an elderly woman. She had cerebral palsy. She was partially deaf. But she wanted to surprise her daughter, who lived in New York, for her birthday as a surprise to send a whole bunch of warmers to her and her friends at their party. She would mail me a check, and then once it cashed, I would order. Great. All sounds fine. Then a couple days go by and she texts me back and she says, oh, I was in the hospital. I apologize. A mistake has been making and my client mailed you a check for the entire amount that was owed to me. So can you just take out what I owe you for the Sensi and then mail me back a check? Okay, still sounds fine. I still... I tried to tell you. I still think all's a go. The check comes in. I put it in the bank. I let... Emily, no. And once it's cashed, I will be more than happy to send you back the money. Two days go by because there is a two-day hold on the check. I go back into the bank and wouldn't you know, it's a forged check. And all I can hear in my head is, as my daddy used to say, I tried to tell you. Yep, I knew he was going to say it, and I was a little humiliated. However, if my story can help you, then I'm a little less humiliated. Never give your personal information out. Thank God all I sent was the address to mail the check. But be advised, no personal information, and thank God I waited till see if the check cleared so I'm not out the money from the Sensi order, and I'm not out the money I would have sent back Emily. You want to say it one more time? I tried to tell you. If it sounds too good to be true, it is!